Hello, I just thought I would share a few tips regarding uh, making a hoverboard wheel run. Um, so um, I've seen a video with some someone is using a, a like um, brushless ESC with three outputs, uh, like a classic brushless motor uh, driver for for airplanes and drones and and cars. Um, so first I did try this one, uh, but uh, unlike some other people. I couldn't really uh, make it run uh, only if I like uh, kickstarted it with my hand or pushed it. Only then I could get it to uh, to run and it would run quite slow and uh, jaggy. Uh, so I I decided that this wasn't really gonna do the job for me. So uh, what I ended up with was ordering this uh, Ruduani uh, 6 to 60 volts uh, brushless motor controller with hole sensor input. And there's a few other videos out there uh, on YouTube as well, some, some very good videos. Uh, so just a quick, uh, quick uh, summary of uh, my experience. Um, you have five cables, these are the hole sensor cables. Uh, the black goes to black, the red goes to, to red. Uh, and everything matches uh, the color on the wheel uh, cable except the blue uh, that goes to the white cable and uh, uh, you have the same the, uh, order here as you have here so you start with the blue and here you start with the white then the green and also the green here and then the yellow and here also uh, the yellow and the, um, the reason I have this order is that I am actually running it in reverse right now. Uh, if you don't uh, want it to run in reverse, uh, this is the classic order. This is the, the, the original order. You have the black, the green, the yellow, the white, the red. And you have uh, the blue, the yellow and the green. This is the original setup but so this is uh this is my tip because uh this uh, speed controller can run uh, both ways but it will run very slowly backwards and when you have two wheels uh, you actually want them to spin uh, opposite direction of each other because uh, one will be 180 degree rotated uh, compared to the other one, and which means that one of them has to run in reverse. But in reverse, uh, the control is uh, quite uh, much slower and more uh, jagged. Um, so um, how do you actually make it go other direction? That's where uh, you do the switch like you do on the classic uh, ESC like a three-phase motor without a hull sensor, you simply switch two of these cables. So I actually have modified this plug here. And you switch the same here. You switch the same two, any two. You switch and you switch the same two cables here. And now it will actually run in reverse. So now uh, the jumper here now is for positive uh, movement. Uh, it's the the ground is connected to the the uh, the switch the high switch for positive uh, rotation. So now I can use the potentiometer and start it up and great speed. And I can show you the comparison. So if I now disconnect the and directional connection. It's going the other way. But very slow. And sometimes it won't even start like that. It, it now it's kind of locked itself. Yeah, and now it won't even start. Um, that's why uh, you might want to do the um, reverse trick. Um, otherwise, I can really recommend this controller. It's great value for money. Um, it tends to run hot a little bit uh, fast, so make sure you have a good ventilation for it. So right now I'm running in, uh, running it on 22 volts on a six cell uh, lipo lithium battery. 
uh, which is I think is um, pretty good. Uh, I mean, it should be enough for some for pretty good, uh, pretty good power. Uh, you don't need to have the 36 volts uh, unless you want to max max the output on the system. So yeah, I hope this was uh, a little bit helpful and uh, use the comment section if you have any questions.